All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us again this week on Coffee Talk. I'm glad you all could make it. Uh, we're going to get started today with Ellen, who is going to give us another nutrition tip for National Nutrition Month. Okay. Well, thank you, Rachel, for having me on again. And thank you all for participating today. And we talked a lot about nutrition last month. But my quick tip today for you is we did look at at food labels a lot last month and we had a really good, or last week, and we had a really good discussion on that. One thing that we didn't talk about is something that's been added to the food, the new food label is down at the bottom, there's a section for, for four different nutrients. It's vitamin D, potassium, iron, and calcium. And a lot of us don't get enough of those four nutrients. So that's why they've actually added it to the new label for you to see how much of those you're getting in your foods. So for instance, I have dried apricots here, okay? And it's a really good source of potassium. And potassium is what I just wanted to kind of touch on here quickly this morning. Uh, potassium we need for our heart function, for our muscles, for our nerve function. So it's very essential for us. Now, unless your doctor has said you need to watch your potassium, which sometimes they'll do if you have maybe some kidney issues. But if that's not the case, you really need to make sure you're getting potassium in your diet. One really nice feature of potassium, so many of us, um, me included, have a little bit of high blood pressure. And so, Potassium is one of those things that can help control that a little bit too. So if you have high blood pressure, make sure you're getting some potassium in. Potassium is great um, in dried fruit like raisins, apricots here. Actually, uh, one serving of the dried apricots have 440 milligrams of potassium. So that's a good source. Hey. Some other sources you probably are familiar with, you know, we think of bananas or citrus fruit, those are all really good source of potassium. Tomatoes, potatoes, sweet potatoes, you know, that's kind of one of those miracle foods, I think. They have so much nutrition in them. Yes, um, yes. Some other, other, yes, yes. Some other choices are like dried beans, you know, and we talked a little bit about that last week, you know, how nutritious they are for us, fiber, but they also have potassium in them as well. So, um, dairy as well has, has, has potassium. So make sure you're, you're getting plenty of potassium in your diet. And like I said, a, a good, um, a good thing to go along with that is, is how it can help lower your blood pressure if you have high blood pressure. So that's my tip for the day. Thank you all. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate yeah, you thank coming you, back Alan. on. You're very, very welcome. Right. Very thank good. You. Thank, very you. Good. thank you. Very good. Thank you. All right, so we are going to now turn it over to Pam Wall. Pam works here at the Senior Resource Center as well, um, and she works with prescription assistance. So I'm going to let Pam take it away. Okay, thank you, Rachel, for allowing me the opportunity this morning to promote my upcoming Zoom outreach in April. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Pamela Wall. I've been part of the Senior Resource Center for about seven and a half years. Um, I manage the prescription assistance program and would like to invite you and anyone that you know um, that may be in need of prescription assistance. Um, the upcoming Zoom meeting is scheduled Wednesday, April the 14th at 10 a.m. I'll be sharing with you at that time ways to save money on costly medications, um, name brands, and the importance of being proactive and reviewing your monthly prescription plans, um, statements that you receive. We'll discuss the importance of open enrollment for Part D prescription coverage and how that's a perfect time. And I'll discuss also our volunteer program that we have um, here at the Senior Resource Center. They'll help you to navigate and customize based on your individual needs. So, that's one misconception um, folks don't realize the importance of making sure your plan is customized to your actual prescription needs. Um, you may know of a family member, it may be yourself or a friend that's struggling with costly medications. 
please encourage them to contact me or also join. Um, and let's say have to look again. It's Wednesday, April 14th at 10 a.m. Um, we all know how costly medications can be and how important it is to make sure that we're taking the medication um, as our doctor has prescribed in, in order to maintain our health. So there are options out there that folks are unaware of or they think they don't qualify because they've been misinformed. And there are actually programs through the manufacturer and where you can obtain the medication free of charge. And with my program, Prescription Assistance, we partner together and I help you to navigate through that and help you with all the documents that are required. Um, so I'm very excited to be able to have the opportunity to share. Um, if you know of someone who needs my assistance prior to this Zoom meeting or you have questions, my direct line at the center is 910-798-6422. And I am on the phone a lot. So if you'll leave a message, I promise I will get back with you. And um, we'll do a brief assessment at that time and just to find out what your needs are. But always make sure to knock on the door and encourage someone to knock on the door to see. And, I, and what I mean by that is don't give up make sure to check every avenue and I'm there to uh, or here to assist you with that. So I'm very excited. I look forward to um, answering those concerns that our citizens have. And um, that's really it. We'll really get into detail more on April the 14th um, nice. about the options. So thank you, Rachel, for allowing me to share. I appreciate it. I'm very passionate about this. I know um, a lot of folks are, they just can't afford the meds or they'll not take the meds like they should or insulin and it's, it's just not good. So I'm very excited to be able to share. Thank you awesome. so much. I appreciate it. Thanks so much thank for coming you. on, Pam. Appreciate it. It looks like Mr. George has a quick question for you. No, hey, Mr. Just, George, you look good familiar. Morning. How are you, Pam? I'm good. How no, are just, you? Good. No, I just want to say that uh, several years ago, uh, I worked with Pam trying to get prescription medication for my wife. And uh, it was a great, great help because we got it at a lower cost and everything. And it awesome. Was, it, was, it was really nice. Yeah. Well, and thank you. It works. Thank you. There's there's ways out there. We just never give up, and um, and it's good to make sure we check all avenues. So thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that, and I'm glad that it was a success story for her as well. Thank you so much. Yes. Does anybody else have any quick questions? I know Pam has a busy day helping others, so we will let her go. But if you have a quick question for yeah, her that you'd I, like answered right now, absolutely. All right. Any, well, any questions? Okay. If uh, you do think of anything and you'd like to reach out to Pam, um, the number provided, I can, I can get that to you. Just reach out to me um, or her email if you'd like that as well. So just let us know um, and she'll be happy to help. But otherwise, Pam, we'll see you on the 14th. Absolutely. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thanks, Appreciate everyone. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. All right. Well, we will go ahead and move on to our live tour. I believe um, our tour guide should be ready to go. Kelly, are you there? She was a few minutes ago. She popped in, but she popped back out. Yeah, I see she's so. she's there. So give her just a quick second to see if Hi, maybe. Guys, can you hear me now? There you are, yeah. Hi. Yes. Yes. Good morning. How is everyone? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Well. Yeah. All right. So I'm outside the Senior Resource Center right now. I'm sorry it's a little noisy. As you guys know, the traffic here is a little insane in the mornings. So it's a little noisy. Can you hear me with my mask on okay? Yes, ma'am. That's good. Yes. All right. I'm gonna keep my mask on just because I'm walking in the building and I wanna make sure that if we encounter anyone that we're being protected. So 
what I'm going to do is turn around my camera. So, um, and we're going to walk inside the Senior Resource Center. Um, I want to give you guys a tour and really talk about the, the new features here Senior Center that we didn't have. Um, as you guys remember, I was trying to talk to Rachel about that, and you guys will be good to tell Rachel too about what the Senior Center looked like before. Um, a lot of our new staff, they when they you know since they've been here, all they know is what we have now, and it's hard to imagine what it truly looked like before um, with the carpet on the walls. Um, and that kind of stuff, you know, it sounds so crazy now to think that that's the way it used to look. But as we're doing our tour, if any of you guys want to talk to us about what you remember, or if you have questions at the end of the tour, and you want me to show you something that I didn't show you, please let us know that too, okay? okay. All right, so I'm going to turn my camera around, and then we'll get started. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here. I'm basically standing right next to the front doors here at the Senior Center, and I'm gonna walk in just like you guys would walk in. And here we go. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, um, the flooring is very different and the lobby is very different compared to what it used to look like. Um, we had carpet here where now we have this beautiful floor beautiful entrance here. That's Miss Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. So this is our new front desk. As you guys remember, it used to, it was just a, like a very small desk um, inside this waiting area. We've really opened up this hallway. So behind the desk used to be a wall, like a glass wall. They removed that. So this is our new and improved lobby. The front desk is very large now. There are handicapped accessible areas from both sides. You, so you can access this front desk from the front door, you know, when you first open, like I just did, um, as well as when you're here at the senior center and maybe you think, you know, you're down the hall in one of our rooms and you think, oh man, I forgot to ask them something. You can access this desk from the, uh, from the back side as well. Hi, Marlene. So that's Marlene, she is our switchboard operator. A little bit different, the switchboard used to be in an office towards the cafe, if you guys remember that. Um, and now they've been relocated up here to the front area. So that is changed as well. I'm gonna turn around. So this is our new like waiting area here in the lobby. We have new furniture. <laughs> I love this beautiful sign. I don't know if you guys can see it. That says Senior mm -hmm. Resource Center up at the top there. And um, as you guys also remember, when you first entered the building over on the right-hand side was where Valerie Hatton's office was. It was a large office um, and that is very different now as well. Now that, that area has been turned into two rooms, two small offices where, um, no one's particular is assigned to them. These are extra offices where we could meet with someone in private, quickly have a private conversation. Um, maybe if we have, you know, the um, Medicaid worker come and she wants to meet with someone, it's just more private meeting space um, right here by the front door. Also, these are new. So these are on at our admin area, as well as um, these offices up front just badge access for staff. So that's new. All of our rooms now have been renamed. So this office is called the Boardwalk Office. So that's another something to get used to that's very different from what we had before. As you guys remember, all of the classrooms were called like classroom A, classroom B, maybe it was the craft room or the art room, that kind of thing. So that's very different as well. And all of our rooms now have names. So it's, it's a learning curve for each of us. This is where the kiosk is. As you guys remember, there was a sign in kiosk at that front desk. Well, it was kind of next to the front desk at its own little um, station. So this is where, hi, Tim. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is where you will come sign in at the kiosk and it will be right here. 
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to turn left and go down the hallway, and then we'll come back down the other side and talk about the other side of the building. So as you guys, I'm sure everyone knows, currently our building is being utilized a few days a week for a, a vaccine site. Um, so that's why they have these stickers on the floors to encourage social distancing, as well as there's there are chairs throughout our hallway, just giving people somewhere to sit if they're waiting in the long line. Of course, when we reopen that won't, it won't look like this, but I just wanted to let you know why it does look like this right now. So a lot of people have commented that our hallways look much bigger than they used to look. Um, what do you guys think? They do. Yeah. They look longer and wider. Uh-huh. These are new bulletin boards. And this, so, so what I'm gonna show you next is like one of my favorite features here at the center. So all of our restrooms, oh, Tim's cleaning. Oops, I'm interrupting. Um, so all of our restrooms, I'm gonna go to the men's so you can see, have these right out front and it says wave to open. Ta-da. So they're also on the insides of the restroom coming out. So after you've used the restroom and you wash your hands, you don't have to touch the door and see it's automatically closing. So they are on a timer. They will automatically close. Um, and so that is that sensor is on the inside as well. All you do is wave your hand in front of there and the door opens for you. So I think that is a really great feature. Again, that's what it looks like. We also have touchless water bottle um, filling areas next to our water fountains. I have a little water bottle here. I've actually never used it yet, so here we go. And just like that. So you guys are welcome to bring your water bottles with you um, when you come to the center. And an easy way, again, for you not to have to touch any surfaces. I did not touch anything. All I did was put that water bottle underneath it. Um, so no reason to touch any of, our, of the surfaces. I'm gonna turn back around. And as you remember, right across from the restrooms was Pam's office. I know Pam was just on a few minutes ago. So Pam was in um, one of these offices in this room. So this is the Seascape Library. It, it's always been the library. It was a library prior. The library is not complete yet, but I wanna give you a little sneak peek. So these are new built-ins. And then where, where the ship office was, which was here, is now called the Pelican Watch Room. And it's just a lounge, a, a meeting, like a place for you guys to sit and relax, maybe read a book, read a magazine. We also moved the puzzle table in here with the puzzles. So for if you guys remember, this stuff used to be in the front lobby as well. So we moved it here. There's also a very large TV in here. For those of you who just want to sit and relax, maybe you're coming here to attend a few classes um, and you have like 30, 30 minutes or an hour break in between and you're like, well, I really don't want to go home. Um, so this is another place for you to come relax until your next class. So back out. And these are just books waiting to be put on the new shelving where so there's going to be shelving just like this wrapping around this whole room. And then when you look at the other side of the library, there was a little cubicle wall here that has been removed and there will be a built-in desk here. And as you can see where that computer monitor is, there will be two computers here for the public to be able to use as well. Okay, back down the hallway we go. And I'm trying to hold this as still as possible. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. Mm -hmm. So here we're coming up on the Tidewater room. That is our art room. 
as you can see, um, new countertops, new cabinetry, new flooring everywhere, of course. A different colored wall here. And um, so Matt, one of the um, staff members with facilities management, he also does art on the side. Um, and you guys will see there's a few of his art pieces throughout our building. And he created all of these. So I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. He's very talented. Beautiful. Yeah. These are cool. It's actually like raised. Yes. Each bubble is like raised. I don't know how he does that, but it's really neat. This one's really cool. Mm -hmm. This one. <laughs> Okay, so back out of the art room we go. And we're gonna go down the hall towards the multi-purpose room. So I don't know if you guys can see these weird looking things hanging on the wall. I'll talk about them when we turn around. Can you see those it kind of looks like a string? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll talk about those in just a moment. So a few of our rooms here at the center now have this cool, really cool feature wall. I just wanted to point this one out. They're in different colors. And this is just that very small room. I think we used to call it craft room three at the end of the hallway right before you get to the multi-purpose room. So remember, there, um, since we're using this as a vaccination site, it does look quite different than it would. New flooring. Of course, I think this room looks so much larger now than it looked before. I think probably a lot to do with the no carpet on the walls. <laughs> new curtain on the stage. The stage is pretty much the same. So the layout of the room is the same. Um, all they did was, you know, the new flooring. Um, of course, the whole building has new ceiling tiles, new window treatments in the paint. Okay, this is another feature we have now throughout the center. We are ordering more. We have uh, currently have like four of them right now. So this is a garbage can, but also sanitizing wipes at the top. So when we're able to reopen, um, these are gonna be located all throughout the building. So please feel free, take a wipe. Um, you know, we're, of course we're gonna need to be um, sanitizing the rooms more often and all of those things. But this is another safety feature for you. You can always <laughs> grab a wipe wipe down your chair, whatever you're comfortable with, um, they're throughout the building for everyone to use. All right, back down the hallway we go. This is the computer lab here to the left. Another just bulletin board, it just doesn't have anything on it yet. And let's talk about these weird strings. So there's a track here that goes all the way down the hallway. <coughs> these can be adjusted and this is for our art participants to hang their art as you guys remember there were a lot of paintings hanging on the wall um, at the senior center um, and you know some of them were for sale they were just displaying their artwork that kind of thing so this is just an easy way for them to display their artwork but not damaging the walls we're not putting nails in the wall and that kind of thing so um, they are all down this hallway on both sides And here we go. Anybody have any questions so far? No? Okay.
as Kelly's walking back down um, to show us something else, does anybody have any thoughts so far? It's beautiful. It <laughs> is. Yes. So I want to point out, so we're back here to the main entrance, right? That's where we just came from. And I want to point out this wall. So this kind of looks like what people call shiplap, right? Um, and this is a, I call it a slat wall. Um, so right here where that outlet is, there's going to be a monitor put, um, right there. They're installing that next week, actually. The monitor um, will display all of the activities for the day. We did have something similar to that in the lobby previously. This slat wall also allows us to hang signage like this one, and they're movable. We also can get hooks, just like in a store. When you, sometimes when you go in a store and they have all of these hooks on the walls, all different sizes. So when we're um, reopening, it's wreath time. As you guys know, those wreaths here at the center are very popular. Um, the wreaths that are for sale, so they'll we'll be able to just put the hooks on the wall for them to hang the wreaths again just keeping it clean and nice so we don't have to put any nails in the wall. More bulletin boards here. And now we're headed to the billiards room, which I think is beautiful. And I wanna point out something else before we go in. These little slats have been installed in front of every room. So as we know, um, when we look to reopen, which we hope will be very soon, we don't have a definite date yet. These, um, we're going to have to open differently than we had before, right? We're going to have capacity limits on the rooms, how many people can participate in each room, you know, can be in each room um, in order to be able to social distance and that kind of thing. So we have installed these that will be outside of each room. So each room will have a capacity limit. And most of our activities um, will need to be Right, you know, you'll need to register for them. So always keep that in mind as we look to reopen. If there are activities that you used to like to come and participate in, whether it be our fitness classes, the card groups, even billiards, we can't just allow everybody to come in because of those capacity limits. So we'll have to require people to pre-register. So this is just kind of an example of what it would look like outside of each room. So this would be the daily schedule for today. Again, this is just a sample. This isn't actually real. But as you can see, it'll be time block. And see, it has initials of who has registered for that time block in the morning. We are going to also have to be um, including some extra sanitizing time in between these activities so we can go and sanitize those high touch areas. So where it says closed for cleaning, that's the reason why. OK, so now we're going into the billiards room. This room is beautiful now. So these lights are brand new above each pool table. The pool tables have been recovered. We have some new furniture in here. New cabinetry, of course, over by the table tennis room. New countertops. This room, if you guys remember, had gray plaid wallpaper that was half half peeling off. <laughs> so now I know that everybody's going to be thrilled to be able to play pool in here in this beautiful space. And here we go. That's just facing the admin area. Our admin area really hasn't changed any for those of you who have been, you know, maybe in a, um, in a meeting with one of us, have seen a social worker, that kind of thing. Um, the only thing that we have done back there, just new carpet, uh, new paint, all the office structures are still the same. Here's another one of those sanitizing stations. Hi, Jasanna. Hi. Jasanna is our volunteer coordinator for home delivered meals. Busy, busy. <laughs> so this is now called the Hanover Room. Um, a lot of people used to call this the card room or the table games room. Now just called the Hanover room. It's new paint. The tables are still the same as they were um, previously. 
new bulletin boards here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, um, I want to point out something. So as you guys remember, at the end of the hallway, we're, we're looking at the glass, the, that glass door used to be a lot of fitness equipment. Do you guys remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is very different compared to what it looked before. Hi, Chloe. Hi. <laughs> so the, our exercise room has been moved. This is now office space or meeting rooms. And we're gonna to try to be quiet as we come in. This currently is where our income tax um, volunteers are preparing taxes. So we have to kind of sneak through their room to go down the hallway. Um, as you can see, they're doing intake right now. Um, so I can't go through that hallway, but that's the way you would go down to the dance room and the fitness room. We're just gonna sneak through their room. So here we go. Again, this is called the Masonboro room. <laughs> This is a really large room, again, where the fitness equipment used to be, now with the dividing walls to break this large room into two. There is a door in between these two offices. This goes to another office space or classroom space. This is our largest classroom. Um, for those of you who are foster grandparents, this is the room where you guys used to have your meetings most of the time, this large classroom. Again, this is another room that our tax preparers are using right now. Hi, Mary. Well, I'm on um, a live tour on my phone, so wave to the audience. Hello, everybody. So everybody remember Mary? <laughs> so Mary's helping us with um, tax intake this morning. And um, Mary, I'm just showing everybody the new cool spaces. I know, I can't wait to use it. I know, me too. So this room is called Inspire Fitness. And our director um, designed these logos here on the, on the window. I think it's beautiful. And here we go. Thank you. So this is our new and improved fitness room. <clears throat> Little cubby here, if you had, um, you know, backpack or your purse or whatever, and you wanna come in and work out, just that's a, just a space for you to set your stuff. We have gotten some new equipment um, since we were closed. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. This is a seated elliptical machine. Kind of looks like a bike, but it's an elliptical. It's just a seated one. That's brand new. These hand weights are new. There's a bench here. So we do have four TVs in here right now. I don't have them turned on. Um, and then this really large piece of equipment is also brand new. I believe it has six stations all around it, all different ways to work out. And so again, think of this room. If you wanted to come exercise, Remember, you can use this equipment, this beautiful equipment. This is just as good as a big gym that you would pay a lot of money to go to. You can participate and, and use this equipment for free, of course, as long as you have signed up one of those green participation forms, which I believe you guys have. But if you're new to the senior center, you just have to make sure that you have filled out one of those sheets and you have your little ID card but this is another room where when we think, when we go to thinking of reopening, that we will need to sign up for time slots just because um, of those capacity limits. But we want to encourage everyone to come in and use this beautiful equipment. Okay. And there's sanitizer stations on the walls and here they look a little different, but those are sanitizing wipes as well. 
Okay, we're going back out. We're gonna take a sneak peek at the dance studio. Now it's a little messier than it normally would look because currently when we're open for vaccinations, this is where people come in. So these mats on this beautiful floor would not be here typically. So this space, if you guys had ever seen this space before, this is the old floor. It's hard to imagine now because it was like a gray, dark brown, but the same floor, but this room has been expanded quite a bit. The restrooms in this room previously had showers in them. So they were really large, but the showers weren't even usable. So a lot of wasted space. Um, had a lot of big closets in there that a lot of things were stored in. Um, so all we did was take those out. So there are still restrooms in this dance studio, but they're a lot smaller now. So we could expand the dance space. So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. So again, this is the old floor, right? I want to challenge you where, to see if you can tell where the new floor starts. I'm gonna give you a second. Can you guys tell where the new floor is compared to the old floor? Yes, no. Can you? That's new. <laughs> So right here, this is still the old floor. They just redid it. The new floor, I'm gonna guess, it's over here. probably starts right around here. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's, a, it's slightly different. Yeah, the color's different. Mm -hmm. But they did an awesome job. And when you look at it from a distance, you will never be able to tell that all of this floor hasn't been here forever. Okay. Is that in the multi-purpose room? I don't remember this room. No, this is the dance studio. So it was at the very end of the hallway, um, right past that classroom where we used to have your meetings. Uh-huh, okay. At the okay. very, very end. So that's where okay. we are right now. See, as you can see, that's just the front of the building again. They did add another sidewalk coming up to that side. You can see it there. Okay. The front of the building also um, had a few, a few little changes. I'm gonna kind of point those out. Um, the building was painted. They added an extra driveway on the other side of the overhang. See to the left, that is new. So as you guys remember before, if somebody rode a, say a paratransit van and they came here to the senior center, the pair, some of those vans were too tall to go underneath our awning. So then they'd have to stop like right before the awning, then they'd have to back out of the driveway, really complicated. So now people can pull up right next to the awning. And so that's for those who can't fit underneath and then people can get out and still be undercover and access the front of the building. <coughs> There used to be that railing along the front of the building as well. I don't know if you guys remember that. Right where the columns are, there was like, it looks like fence railing almost in the front of the building and that has been removed. Okay, so we're gonna go back down the hallway and I want to show you guys the new and improved cafe. Again, here's another one of those water bottle filling stations down here. We're gonna again, sneak through. Oh, I don't know. Today's early. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I want to show you guys. This is a little new. So right here, 
where this office is. This used to be where the switchboard office was. Right. So now it is a little smaller. The entrance is on the side instead of on the front of it like it used to be. That's Miss Margaret. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> and so this is just the nutrition office now. This hallway is also new. Um, and this is the way you would get to the restrooms on this side of the building. Oh, okay. So the Friendship Cafe is now the Ohana Cafe. And as you can see, hi, everybody, wave. <laughs> so they are busy packing those meals for our home delivered meals volunteers right now. It's a really busy time in the mornings uh, <laughs> for them to package and get those meals out. Um, and they're also going to begin packing the meals for our drive throughs We still are doing those drive through sites. So the furniture in here is all brand new. New ceiling. The ceiling was um, like indented in the middle of this room, if you guys remember. So it looked much different than it does now. I'm gonna give you guys an up close and personal view. <laughs> this is another one of those paintings that Matt did. What's for lunch today, you guys? Look at Miss Carla. Say that again, geez, it's not like a like a tongue twister. Whoa. Say hi. <laughs> See, they're so busy. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Same patio that we had before right outside the dining room. Um, we are ordering new umbrellas for those tables, but those are the same tables that we had previously. So we're just gonna get, upgrade them a tad. Okay. All right, that is pretty much the whole building. So, does anyone have questions? Anything that I didn't show you that you'd like to see? Comments? I just want to say that it's beautiful. Can't wait to get back in there. <laughs> Thank so you. So I know Look. Kelly showed some different, some different classrooms. Are there any programs that you're hoping to see take place in those new, uh, newly renovated rooms? Any programs you're ready to get back to? Okay, how about this? What was your favorite thing about coming here? It Mine doesn't have to be a particular the library. Activity. Okay. Mine was going to the library. Very good. How about you, George? I think meeting old friends that I knew oh, and yeah. hadn't seen for a while. Uh-huh. Because uh, some of the some of the people that were going to the center went to school with me. Oh wow! wow. And, yes, and, yes. And, and it was a while since I had seen them. And and I think the other thing about the new building, the, the remodeled building, is that it looks much brighter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to sign off. I'm not going to sign off. I'll be back on, but. I have to take Brandon to school. Of course, okay, thanks for coming. Okay. So All I'll right. be back if you're still on when I get back. Okay. All right, well, Rachel, okay. I'm gonna turn it back over to you if no one has any more questions about the building or wants to sh me to show them anything. We're really excited to have our participants come back um, and we're hoping that we'll be able to open soon. Just keep an eye out on the news. I'm sure it will um, be reported that way. And um, just also keep in mind that a lot of our classes will need to be pre-registered for just because I know we will have capacity limits. 
but we're really excited to have everybody come back here and enjoy our beautiful space. Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate you doing this. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kelly. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Kelly. You're Bye, welcome. Kelly. Thank you. Awesome. Well, what did you guys think? Neat. Very neat. Looks oh, cool. how much yes. how different is yes. it compared to what it looked like? I've never seen, I haven't even seen pictures of, of the old completely different. 100 percent different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't wait for you guys to, to hopefully be back here soon to see it and uh, get to get to see everybody in action. I'm excited. I've never seen any of the classes take place in person or anything like that. So I'm just as excited as you guys are. Um, I wanted to share with you quickly. Um, we did post on the Facebook page um, as well as the website, I believe, um, that we are opening two new virtual fitness classes, um, April 12th and 14th. So we'll be doing another walk with ease session as well as, um, a beginner Tai Chi class. So if you're interested in those, the information is on the Facebook, um, or I could provide you with it, but you'll reach out to Chantel and she will be able to help you get registered for that. If you are. Rachel, I yes. tried, um, I talked with Chantel and mm -hmm. she sent me a link for that first class of this month. I think it was supposed to start the 14th or the 21st, something like that. Um, but I could never pull up the, I, I, I answered the question that was on there. Okay. And I sent it back to her, but I never, I, I never heard back from her. Not a problem. Um, do you remember link. which which class it was the for? It was for the exercise class. Was it the walk with ease or the Tai Chi? Or the move, uh, move more, eat better, weigh less? Hmm. Yes. That yes, one? Yes, it was okay. that one, I think. Yes. I will, um, as soon as we're finished up with this call, I will go and have a chat with her and see um, what the issue is and see if she can get in touch with you and get it figured out, okay? Okay, all right, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Um, so if you are interested in the two classes that are going to be starting up um, in April, definitely reach out. Space is limited and you do have to pre-register. So just let her know if you're interested in those. Uh, we're looking forward to having those um, take place. So um, and additionally, um, I have a senior in the news story to share with you all this week. Uh, last week, we uh, didn't have a whole lot of time. So I wanted to share. Um, I found this story is about a husband and wife. They live in um, Ontario, Canada, um, and they have actually been delivering since last April. Thank you cards to local truck stops um, to say thank you to truck drivers. So um, I'm sure you guys saw in the news um, once the pandemic hit. Um, a lot of truck stops actually closed the doors to the truck drivers and they were not allowed to go in and shower, use the restrooms. Um, a lot of the like, gas station or restaurants that were attached to it were closed due to the pandemic. So um, they were really struggling and having a hard time with that. So they actually um, were dropping off thank you cards. They would just drive up to a local one and, and pass them out to whoever was there at the time. And I just thought that was a really sweet way to sh uh, share some kindness. And I thought I would share that with you all. Uh, just a quick one today. But I wanted to see also if you guys have any input or questions for me. Um, I would love to chat with you about those. No, Mr. George, nothing. No, just I think you're catching on pretty quick. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Well, as always, I appreciate you guys very much for joining us today. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the tour and we're so excited to hopefully have a date um, soon and to be able to welcome everyone back um, as safely as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Good. Well, we will wrap it up then. If anybody does have any questions, I will stick around, but I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording.